Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name's Casey and I'm a flight attendant. Today I'm going on a three day trip. So today is a long day. I have three legs. So first we're going to Austin, which is a pretty quick flight. And then we sit for three hours and then we go Austin to Chicago and then Chicago to Newark. So I haven't worked a day this long in a pretty long time. So I thought it would be fun, maybe not fun, more just like interesting. I thought it would be interesting in this video to keep track of how much money I spend when I'm on a trip. Sometimes I'll pack my own food. It's kind of like 50-50 at this point. I used to be very stingy and I would always pack my own food and I would never spend money on trips, but it is so hard to do that because you never know if you're gonna have a fridge in the room or if the fridge is gonna freeze your food or if it's not gonna work. I mean, that happens all of the time and my food goes to waste all the time. So sometimes I will just not even try. So this trip, I did not even try. I didn't cook any food. I don't have any food with me. I do have some snacks. Okay, so this is the first expense of this trip. I've been paying for princess parking lately just because it saves so much time. You know, you're either gonna spend your time or you're gonna spend your money. And my time is worth this money. But that's just me. Okay, I just finally found a spot. I have genuinely never seen the parking this bad here. Is it a holiday weekend? I'm confused. No, it's a Wednesday. What are what are all you people doing here? So my total cost for parking was $39.90. And we are way up here, I'll tell ya. So once I got to the airport, my gate was right next to a Starbucks and I figured I could get some pep in my step and it was a long day so I got a coffee and it was $5.85. So once we got to the Austin airport, we had a three hour sit before our next flight. So I knew I wanted to get a book from this bookstore that I love in the Austin airport. So I went and got a book. I love this author. So I picked out this book and it was $18.39. And then I went and got a chicken sandwich from this place called Fly Right and it was $8.65. Okay, so it is about 12.15 a.m. now. Getting to this hotel was a nightmare. Like, it was so chaotic in the airport and we had to take a train to get to the area where we were gonna get picked up by the hotel shuttle. It just, it took forever. It was so crowded. There were so many people on the train, but it is pretty late now. So I'm gonna go to bed as soon as possible, but I wanted to do a quick little room tour so we got the bathroom here closet here in here we have a little fridge and also the coffee maker it's an odd place for the coffee maker but happy to have it nonetheless and then we got two beds and then a big window here but we just got the parking lot outside also, it is quite cold here. I didn't um, know how cold it was gonna be. So I'm just gonna wash my face and get ready for bed. Our van time in the morning is at 12.30. I think that's right. Oh my gosh only one bag of coffee and it's decaf are you kidding me okay so it is about 12 o'clock now i did go get some real coffee because that was necessary so today we're going back to dallas and then we have a two hour sit and then we go dallas to ontario california my makeup was really not cooperating today yesterday i used my one of my favorite foundations the nars light reflecting foundation and it looks amazing 
all day when I wear it at home and I'm on the ground all day but I don't understand why everything just starts to look so bad after a few hours on the airplane like my skin just gets so dry in the air so I don't know if that's gonna be my favorite foundation for work anymore but yeah today I just went with a very minimal makeup look because it was just not cooperating also I got a Jersey Mike's sub on Uber Eats I was looking at like places in the Newark airport and they really don't have very many food options so I was like well I need to get something because it's like a three and a half hour flight back to Dallas from here so I just got a sandwich and it was $11.15 and I'm probably gonna get food in Dallas on our two hour set too. So I'm just gonna throw on my uniform really quick and head downstairs. Also, I wanted to show y'all my packing cubes that I've been using. I don't know why I haven't used packing cubes until now, but these have changed the game. I have all of my like pajamas and um, I have like an eye mask in here and my makeup eraser and it's all in this little cube and then I had the clothes I'm wearing now. I just had some leggings and a sweatshirt and um, some workout stuff just in case I wanted to work out on this layover, which didn't happen. I also love these little plastic cubes too. I've been using this for just like the essentials. I've got my little pill pack in here. I've got some perfume, headphones, lotion, pins, stuff like that. I love that I could just have all my essentials in here and I can see everything and I can just throw it in my purse. So all these are from Amazon. So I'll have them linked below and I'll show you how satisfying my suitcase looks when I've got all my cubes in there all packed up. And here is what the suitcase looks like all packed up with my packing cubes. It's just so satisfying. So I wish that I had discovered these a long time ago. So we got to Dallas and we had a two hour sit. So I grabbed dinner from Papacitos and it was $20.25. Okay, so it is late and I'm about to crash, but I think this hotel is so cute. So I wanted to show you really quick. I love the little kitchenette. And also they gave us cookies and chips and salsa and guac for free downstairs. Um, and also I need to put away my leftovers. I got a mountain view. Kind of. Hopefully a regular coffee this morning. Hello, hello, good afternoon. It is now 12.30 p.m. So I have to go downstairs in an hour. I thought I might get out and just, I don't know, go outside, go for a walk, work out. I don't know, I thought I might do a lot of things on this layover, but I have just been in my room all morning doing our like modules for recurrent training. I have that next week. I just had a bunch of stuff that I had to get done. So I probably spent like three hours doing that. And that really left me no time for anything else, so. That is what I spent my layover doing, but I had to get it done and um, this was kind of the perfect time to do it because I know I'm not gonna do it at home, you know? When I'm home and when I'm not working, when I'm not flying, like I completely like just try to shut my brain off to work, you know? I'm not, I just, I really try to leave work at work. And then some guys she's been playing basketball with. Oh, okay. Uh, we've been hooping. <laughs> ain't nothing to it. Y'all wait for the vlog, please. No. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just going to have these chips and the salsa and guac from last night. I'm going to have that for lunch. And then I also have my leftover quesadilla. I think I'm just going to throw this. Can I put styrofoam in the microwave? I hope so. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to eat napkin. I wrapped it in a napkin to keep it from getting all over everything else. I put napkins around the quesadilla to try to not get this sour cream and like guacamole on the quesadilla. And now I really regret that because there's little flakes of wet napkin all over the quesadilla. So it's looking like 
I'm just gonna go with the chips and guac and the salsa. But at least lunch was free today, right? It is 37 degrees and I also forgot that I have to drag my bags up these stairs because there's no elevator in this terminal parking. So, okay, just a second. Almost there. It's super windy too. Where's my keys, where's my keys? And I'm also gonna get in the car and calculate how much I spent on this trip. My car is almost on E and I'm dreading filling it up because gas is so dang expensive right now so I forgot about the uber eats tip yesterday so that actually came out to be $16.48 so correction on that one because I think I said it was like $11 so first we had Starbucks for $5.85 and then in the Austin airport I spent $8.65 and then $18.39 for that book that is a lot, but I guess you are in the airport, so everything's expensive. And then that Uber Eats was $16.48. Papacitos yesterday, which was also very expensive. And then parking for $39.90. And I also forgot about the tips for the van drivers when they pick us up, you know, going to and from the airport. So I always give them a dollar. Um, but I only had three dollars on this trip, so when I ran out of dollars, I just didn't tip. So plus three dollars for tips turns out to be a hundred and twelve dollars and fifty two cents. That number hurts me. This is why most flight attendants bring their food on trips because food is so expensive and it adds up so fast. But the good thing is I didn't <laughs> spend any money today. So I don't know if that's good or bad because that means I spent $112 in two days instead of three. But this was fun. I think this was fun to, to do, right? I think it's good to track your spending and budgeting and all that stuff. I think it's fun, it's good, it's good for me. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. It is now eight o'clock and I feel like it is two o'clock in the morning. I feel so tired and this trip just really wore me out. I think I'm gonna go home and definitely just decompress. Maybe not go straight to bed, but definitely just chill. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. So thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you've got any other ideas for things like this that I could do while I'm working on flight attendant trips, I would love to hear your ideas. This was, this was fun even though knowing that I spent $100 in two days working that is painful information, but it was fun to make this video. So if you've got any ideas, I would love to hear them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.